Hey guys, Perfect X10. Thanks for joining me for another video. Today, I'm going to be sharing with you my personal top five reasons why you should try archery. So in no particular order, coming in at number one, focus and concentration. So this is the mental aspect of archery and it is by far the most important part of archery. What I've learned and what I've seen in my years of shooting archery is that my level of concentration and my ability to focus on something has developed exponentially over the last couple of years. When getting into the world of archery, I had my doubts because I was a scatterbrain. I had a very hard time doing anything for more than five minutes. Five minutes was long as I fall more and more in love with the sport of archery, it becomes natural. It becomes something that is a part of me. You're forced to focus. You're forced to concentrate if you want to be a good archer. For me, shutting out external stimuli was actually pretty easy. For example, when you go to a competition and there are hundreds, sometimes thousands of people at those competitions, there's going to be background noise. There's going to be murmuring, talking, chatting in the background. And if you're a relatively well-disciplined archer, those noises are easy to shut out. What's not easy to shut out is your internal dialogue. It's what's going on in here. So different people have different levels of ability to shut out internal dialogue naturally. For me, I had almost no ability shutting that internal dialogue off, that little man in my brain telling me that I can't do things. So learning how to shut out that internal dialogue is huge. The second reason you should try archery is the physical aspect of the game and what you have to gain there. Archery is not a contact sport. It's not a overly physical sport. You're not going to be running up and down the range. It's, it's not that kind of a sport. Archery is 90% mental. The strong archers and the professional archers you'll see, they have very solid core muscles. Core muscle essentially means that your center of gravity is strong, so you're not rocking back and forth, and it means that your ability to steady yourself physically so that your shot is more consistent is more developed than an amateur. Also remember, if you're shooting archery, there's a lot of walking up and down, especially if you shoot outdoors 70 yards, and let's say that you shoot maybe 6 to 10 arrows around, you're going to be doing a lot of walking. The third reason you should try archery is that it's relatively cheap to get started. Uh, I say relatively cheap because I'm comparing it to other sports of this caliber. So, like, for example, target shooting. With rifles, shotguns, air guns, what have you. It's very expensive to get started in those things because you want to start with decent equipment. In archery, you can really start with the most basic bows, wooden bows with fiberglass limbs. If you go to your local range, they'll recommend a beginner setup. Beginner setups are not expensive. You, I mean, depending on how much you want to invest and how serious you are about trying archery, your level of investment will vary. What I recommend is when you go to a local range, try to make friends. You know, there's people always want to help out. Archers are a unique breed of people, which I'll cover later in this video. Just a fair warning though, once you really get into archery, it gets pricey. It gets pricier and pricier. I've seen price jumps in risers and compound bows and, and recurve bows. I've seen price jumps in practically every aspect of archery. Um, what I like to do is I buy used equipment. Make sure they're in good condition. Of course, when you buy them, test them out. But you save a lot of money buying used. My bow, this riser, I believe is from 2005. These limbs I got used uh, back in 2010. And the only real expensive thing on my bow is my sight, because you don't want to skimp on a sight. So I bought this brand new. So the fourth reason why you should try out archery is the fact that archery is not a fad. It's not a trend. Yes, 
social media and movies, TV shows like such as Arrow or Hunger Games or Robin Hood, whatever it is. Yes, those things do shine a light on archery and the world of archery uh, briefly, but archery has been around for thousands of years. In my research, I found that the earliest form of archery stems back to 10,000 BC. Archery is not a new thing. So my point is archery is a long stemming tradition. And that tradition is not something that can be taken away. So people that are serious about archery take pride in the fact that they're participating in an ancient tradition. I take pride in the fact that I am part of this awesome world of archery and a part of this great group of people and a part of this tradition that still continues on today. And coming in at number five is the networking and the social aspect of archery. I mentioned before that the people that are into archery generally tend to have certain personality traits uh, approachable. They are generally very helpful. They want to be your friend. They want to help you to become a better archer. It's just a certain characteristic that brings archers together from all walks of life. Different careers, uh, different age groups, race, gender, whatever it is. Archery is available to everybody. Some of my closest friends I met through archery. They all have different careers. They all have different backgrounds. But we all come together and be a part of this awesome culture. Archery is a social sport. There's a lot of downtime when you're at the range. You pick up your bow, you shoot your round, you put down your bow, wait for everybody else to finish. Sometimes they take forever to finish. So now you're standing around doing nothing. What do you do? Strike up a conversation. Hey, what do you do for a living? Uh, how did you find out about archery? Oh, are you a hunter? Oh, are you like recurve? Whatever it is, there's a common ground. It's very easy to talk to other archers and develop that connection. So that's it for my top five lists, guys. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Uh, whether or not you agree with my list, let me know in the comment section. Let me know what was the biggest reason for you when you started shooting archery and what was your biggest obstacles. Um, I would be very interested to hear. Again, thanks for tuning in. Perfect X10. I'll see you guys in the next one.